Welcome back to Your Next Watch, an ongoing series that looks at the watches you're considering buying at the moment and breaks them down based on real, honest, hands-on experience. Today we have Hamilton's follow-up to the Kaki Mechanical that features in our 10 for 10 series, the new 2019 Pilot Pioneer. Hamilton has looked towards their supply of W10 watches to the armed forces from the 70s with this release. Watches from this time period need to be legible, durable and compact. So let's see if Hamilton have kept those key features and made them relevant for 2019 wrists. When discussing the Kaki Mechanical earlier this year, we talked about the watch's ability to feel like a genuine, authentic feel watch from the history books. And to be honest, the Pilot Pioneer is actually better suited to that statement. The watch comes in at 36mm wide, with a lug-to-lug -lug length of 42mm and a thickness of 10mm. And I know what you're thinking, at 36mm this watch is just a little bit too small. To be honest, if you're thinking that, you're, you're probably right, it is quite small on paper. These statistics don't translate well to actual on-wrist time, which is a good thing. The Hamilton harness is a tonneau shape to the case, which means we're not so reliant on the case width to quickly determine a watch's wrist presence. As this watch is essentially a one-of-one -of, -one of an original military watch, the design feels relatively familiar. The black dial keeps things simple and suitably W10, with just hours, minutes and seconds being present to the wearer all being seen through the mineral crystal. Sword hands, Arabic numerals and a clean railroad seconds track complete the dial of this watch. On the topic of the dial, the addition of the grain texture is welcomed and simply beautiful. It adds another dimension to the watch, oozing character. The Kaki Mechanical's flat matte dial feels a little lacklustre in comparison. The watch also comes with a vintage coloured loom for both the hands and indices. Something which, although many of us have become immune to the presence of, is still welcomed and does make perfect sense here. Through the solid case back we have the H50 handwound movement, which is also found in the Kaki Field Mechanical. And with 80 hours of power reserve, it's pretty hard to knock. It feels smooth and reliable on the wrist. Zero complaints here. Remaining true to history, the Pilot Pioneer comes only on 18mm NATO straps, either a leather or a nylon. The model we have here is the grey nylon option, which in my opinion is the most appealing choice. After receiving confirmation that the watch doesn't have fixed bars, I honestly started putting combos together in my head while the watch began its journey to us. Let's kick off with one of my favourite straps we've ever offered. The Kokota Besford uses a natural leather grain on top which, although it will lighten slightly when bent, the surface of the strap will remain clean and fresh after months of wear. One feature of straps I always look at is the painted edges. If they're smooth and consistent, then to me, it's a sign of a good strap. Unsurprisingly, this is the case with the Besford. The strap also has white stitching, which highlights and emphasises the numerals on the piece. The strap is available in 19 and 20 mil as well, so if you have a smaller watch, or a vintage piece, this is one of the best options to go for. Here I've gone for the chestnut brown leather to lift the whole watch, however the green and dark brown equally transform the piece. If you're someone who is enamoured with the historical importance of the Pilot Pioneer, this neck strap is the one for you. Kodora straps are always popular with tough military watches, and this version, with its water resistant properties, period correct colour, and subtle similarities in coloured stitching to the vintage loom colour, it's a real must for any Pilot Pioneer owner, or in fact any military watch owner. When deciding on straps to include on in this review, I knew I wanted a NATO. I'll be honest, this combo didn't really sit well with me when looking through our endless amount of options. However, as soon as the strap met the watch, I knew she was a winner. The tone of the green, navy and red feels suitably royal and right at home on the watch, retaining the watch's British heritage. So what are we not so crazy about on the Pilot Pioneer? What, if we could, would we change or feel would benefit the watch if it was possible? First up is the hands. Bypassing their historical accuracy for a moment, the hands on the watch are fully polished and also flat in their design. This results in hands that in certain light can be more difficult than they should be to determine which is which. Next, the case size won't be for everyone. Although we've discussed our enjoyment of the smaller size, it will almost certainly still put people off. We'd recommend getting hands on with one of these pieces if you're still not sold on the size. I'm sure it would change your mind. And finally, no drilled lugs. Now, although this isn't a historically correct feature, I did enjoy the inclusion of drilled lugs on the Kaki Mechanical, and feel it could be justified here. I'm sure it'd probably ruckle a few feathers with the purists out there, 
But if you're considering this watch, yet you want something original, you'd probably more than likely go out and find exactly that. Considering this watch is now worn on modern wrists, I feel Hamilton could pull this off. I think a lot of you watching this will be comparing this to the Kaki Mechanical, and rightfully so. The Kaki Mechanical is just less than half the price of the Pilot Pioneer. Coming in at £400 with sapphire crystal, as well as a larger, more conventional size, I can see why many would be attracted to the Kaki Mechanical. However, sometimes, actually a lot of the time with watches, how something makes you feel overrides a price tag. In the grand scheme of all things watches, for not a lot more money, I find this little Pilot Pioneer speaks to me more than the Kaki Mechanical. The charm and appeal it carries, to me, feels more approachable and relatable as a collector. The watch looks great on a range of straps, there's no gappy lugs here. It's more comfortable, more legible, less reflective, and comes with the added bonus of versatility. As we leave the Hamilton Pilot Pioneer, I'm left with a positive, reminiscent feeling. In a world where many people are wearing watches that are coming in at 40mm+, plus, watches that are this humbling and compact in size are just too charismatic to ignore. Imagery of Elvis Presley, Andy Warhol and Winston Churchill all wearing small watches come to mind when I wear this watch. It was a time when men wore smaller watches and owned the look. A time when watches didn't rely on size alone for people to take note of what was on your wrist. And at the end of the day, the only required task we ask of a watch is to tell us the time. The Pilot Pioneer does this in a usable, approachable and no frills kind of way. Explore more about the Hamilton Pilot Pioneer and the Kaki Mechanical on the Hamilton website today. We'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.